Hello and welcome everyone to Train of Thought. I'm Eniko and I will be playing with trains and also giving you thoughts. Maybe if I can form a coherent one. Um, we're looking at New Buttway. Um, oh, that music is loud. Okay. I have some quick announcements before we begin. First off, um, I have hit 50 subscribers and I wanted to thank you all for subscribing and watching me play, play with trains. So thank you. There's, I'm going to do a 50 subscriber special. There's three options in a straw poll on screen now because annotations and I am good at video editing. <laughs> um, so go vote for the one you want to see. Then there's another thing. Um, I am going away for a few weeks after next week, so my episodes will hopefully come out scheduled, but they won't be up to date with current events. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some vlogging, like just on topics. If you have any topics you want me to do, just leave them in the comments. That'll be great. And um, did I have anything else? Nah. So let's begin. Um, you can see that the forklift driver is still just going around here, even though there's like tons and tons of boxes there. So I don't know what the hell he's doing. Um, yeah, this is a thing. Like, I think we have way too much food now. Yeah. And you actually just saw this one... 1151 go down one and now it goes up again so that's something that happens if you're not transporting all the cargo but you know I, I just I just can't I just can't be bothered no, I, I actually literally can't I need like a rail line um, so yeah if you have enough cargo piling up then you see like here those trucks they, they weren't like parked there before and these boxes weren't there so stuff like starts doing things which is pretty neat i think i mean you're free to disagree but you know first ship arrives at franninghall manor oh uh, yeah that's something i did and this takes farm supplies so i was making farm supplies here i think Let's check. Yeah, this is making farm supplies. So I, I connect that. I also realized that I'm an idiot, which comes to no surprise to anyone, including me. Like, there was a sandbag right here, and I was getting, like, stuff from here, I think. I'm not even sure. Or was I getting it from here? Did I not? Do I not have anyone going here? Oh, wait, this is fishing. Yeah, I was getting it from here. Okay. What I also did, oh, that's nice and completely irrelevant. Actually, I could send a boat there. Let's go do that. This game is very boat heavy, you may have noticed. I, I didn't do that on purpose, honestly. I'm just going to buy this one and I refit it to food. Refit soup. Did I refit you? Yeah, you can do food. OK, so you go there you get a full load. And why are you cloning that guy? That's not what I wanted you to do. Do you still did you get messed up from that? No, you didn't. Okay. Everything is fine. No need to panic. Okay, I want you to go here and get a full load. And then you go there. And you, you drop it off. Do you take food? Yeah, you take food. Okay. This is a bigger ship. I hope it's not bugged. Like all those trucks. Okay, so this was piling up here. I only had one truck doing all the work, which is not ideal. So I, I made it sure that I had enough trucks. If I put on the x-ray, you can see there's quite a few trucks. Um, <clears throat> here too, I just tons and tons of trucks. Ideally, I would do this with a train and live up to the name of the series, but trains are unexpectedly expensive.
So yeah. Um, so this took farm supplies, so I was like, oh well, it's right there, so I just dug a little channel here and sent the ship back and forth, because, you know. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really happy about how this is going. Like, it's, it's okay, but I have way too many trucks now, and when those gonna age out, it's gonna be very annoying replacing them all. Although I don't need to replace. Also, these, this train line was making a horrible deficit, so now I have just a tiny, tiny train. This is a special train that, like, has running costs per unit, like, per carriage. And I wasn't getting enough to have more than a couple carriages, and so now this is actually making a tidy profit. But before, I was losing, like, several thousand pounds a year on these trains because there were not enough people being transported. Um, I don't know if, we, if I did this on screen, but I basically made it so the town can expand this way without being an idiot. Because towns are, you know, sometimes idiots. Okay, so today I am going to want to do something. Yeah. What do I want? to do um oh yeah i need to explain this actually so someone was like why would you do it this way like one lane out and one lane in i mean i could have just had two lanes and not connected everything up here and have like one train going to one platform and another train going to another platform and that works and it's even simpler than doing it this way the problem is you can only run one train per track, because if, if one train might be going this way and another train might be coming this way, then they're going to block each other. This way you can have any number of trains using this track and using the platforms and then coming back out again. And um, it seems more complicated, but after you get used to doing it this way, it's just it's just a lot easier to just do all your tracks that way and then when you link them up you don't have any issues so yeah that's the thing what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make another train stop here what do you guys need oh, what do you guys need production foods i don't i don't really care uh no no i don't really care um, we could go into this area here and then maybe do like, I've never done this before so this is going to be very experimental, okay. What I want to do, right, no that's, that's stupid, I'm not going to do that, no. Okay, if I put it here, that should be okay. And then this rail crossing should be okay. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna put a depot and another depot. Plot town. Someone in the comments told me um, not to go to Peddingfield. Where is Peddingfield? Was it P Peddingfield? Puddingstone? Dindingbury? Teddingbury? Where is Peddingfield? Pedhead? Was it Pedhead? I don't know. I can't remember. They apparently don't like butts, so you know. But Plot Town, Plot Town's alright. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna hate me now. But I don't care. Um, do I? Yeah. I actually quite like these, uh, these pictures. Just do that one. I can afford it. Okay, and then buy some land. Yeah, this is actually, the series is a bit more 
um, is a bit heavier on the gameplay than I wanted to. Like, I think it'll settle down eventually. I can't see what I'm doing, so that's good. I think it'll settle down eventually, but right now it's a lot more me playing with trains than it is me giving you thoughts. Although I can have a like a shot at like giving you my thoughts, so um, what I did last week was do all the promotional materials for the convention that I'm going to in America, um, MomoCon in um, it's at the end of May basically, very end. I can't really see what this train is doing. Okay, we're gonna shave this bit off. And I realized at some point of doing posters and making sure the DPI was correct and making a business card and doing a banner, even though I don't really know how you do banners. I realized that I don't like planning events. I, it's not one of my hobbies, apparently. We're just going to do a diagonal here because I don't think the city is going to... Whoops! Spread out that far. Um, if you wonder what the thunky noise is, that's when I have to clear my throat and I'd rather mute myself then subject you to mucus noises. So you're welcome, internet. You're welcome. Yeah, I, d I really don't like... Oh, I did that wrong. Ah, that's fine. Oh yeah, this is my jam. This, this song is so amazing. I'm not even kidding. It's like... Old school 90s house music except MIDI. So it's like the worst of everything ever. Um, what is this? Oh yeah, that's one that's a waypoint or something. I don't know what those are called properly. Oh shit, this is gonna go bad. Or can you reverse? Are you gonna reverse? No, you're not gonna reverse, are you? You bastard. Ah, oh, well. Okay, how do we do this? I want my yellow light. Um, I want my yellow light there. And then I want this one there. And I want these ones there. Yeah, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Um, uh, okay, so another thing that I'm doing, when I get back, I'll, I'll, um, I'll share with you my travel plans, because my mum is at home anyway, so you can't break in. Heh! <laughs> well, you could, but, I mean, not unopposed. Uh, that's wrong. Yep, that's wrong. Um... So the 18th, I'm leaving for the UK. I'm visiting um, some friends there. I'll be staying in Reading. I'll be making some trips to London, I think. Gonna take the Eurostar. I mean, the Eurostar is just so much nicer than a plane in the end. And for me, it's like to Amsterdam to catch a flight. It's like almost three hours. So you're really not gaining anything by taking a flight instead of taking a train to Brussels and just taking the train into London. Just making sure my signals are all pointing the right way. It's very important. Because I screwed that up once already. And I almost screwed it up then. So, you know, that's why you want to make sure that your signals are pointing the right way. Right. Right. Oh, I had... No. Okay. This is what I do when I don't want the city building on my shit, basically. 
Um, actually, let's just uh, make sure that the computer doesn't do anything stupid. Oh, I love this song. It's amazing. Actually, I could probably reserve this row too. So I've just bought a whole lot of shit. I really need to make these um, stations nicer. I'll do that after the ep episode, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, the check-in process is just less of a hassle if you take the Eurostar, which is a train that goes under the sea. Which is cool. I mean, yeah, getting into a giant metal bird and soaring through the sky, that's okay. But where you really want to be is stuck in a tunnel under the sea. Who lives in a tunnel under the sea? SpongeBob. Round trousers. I just made that up. That's not a real thing. Okay, I have no idea how many people are going to be using this. Should I just have him go back and forth? Probably. Yeah, I should probably do that. Okay, so you go to Plood Town as well, and then you come back to Marfing Field. I don't, I don't need to put this stop in, like it, unless I tell this to be non-stop. Then I do need to put this stop in, but I think it's clearer if you specify all the stops and only use like non-stop if you actually want a train to specifically not stop at a at a station in between so yeah that's the thing um yes yeah, so i'm gonna spend a week in the uk that's gonna be fun and then um the hang on let me check checking my calendar is that in no it's not in the picture good uh, um, the 25th, I take a train, a train, a plane out of Heathrow. You can't take a train out, well, you can take a train out of Heathrow, but not to Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States of the fucking America. Which is where I'm going, to the United States of the fucking America. Okay, see, so you have all these trains, right? And then you have this, which I don't know what this is. Is this... That's different, isn't it? Yeah, it's different. So what I want is I want to have a multiple unit wagon, because these... Oh, that's wrong. What are you? Yeah, you're, you're an NS Dutch Railways train. Yeah, I'm using Dutch Railways. Ha! National pride, except not, because we fucking hate our trains. I may have done a swear. Um, yeah, it says, running, please note, running costs of per one unit, which I take it to mean, like, one unit is, like, how many passengers fit into one car. So I'm just going to buy a couple more cars, which will increase the, the, the running cost. But I'm hoping that this, because this is a far longer line, um, and Plot Town doesn't have anywhere else to go right now, that this will make a fair bit of profit, hopefully. But I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, I built a rail line. So the 25th, I'm heading to Atlanta. This is going to be my first trip into the USA. I hope immigration isn't going to be like, what the fuck are you doing here? Get the fuck out of the country, because that would suck. Um, then I'm going to do the con and somehow try and survive that experience. And then I'm going to spend three weeks in St. Louis with a friend of mine, just chilling out and relaxing. All cool, uh, shooting some big ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started to make in trouble in my neighborhood. Got in one little fight, and my mum got scared, and she said, "You know all those mobsters. Why don't you put a hit in on them?" And I did. 
They're sleeping with the fishes. The one in the ones in the water, not the ones on the dock. Cause that would be gross and unhygienic. Wow, that took a turn for the dog, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what do I do next? We still have this problem, don't we? You go away, you. I don't want your kind. And then I'm going to be back at the end of July. I, I like how I do these vloggy bits. Like, I start them and then I don't finish them. And then I randomly restart them. It's kind of like stand-up comedy, except less, you know, f funny. Yeah. And after that, I'll be working on mid-boss trying to get that released. I'm also going to do a new video series when I get back. And it's going to be very interesting, so stay subscribed even if you don't like trains. My channel is not intended to only be trains, but I didn't want to start like a ton of video series and then bugger off for five weeks and leave you with nothing. Oh, I can repay back some of my loan. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, th see, this is kind of a problem. These transfers are not making enough money, so it's a bit of an issue, but it's not a huge issue, but it's a bit of an issue. Are you making... Suddenly you have a lot of people in your train. I am confused. Yeah, I'm mostly confused. Are you taking people to Pudding, Pudding, Puddingville? Okay, you're going to be renamed, guys. Sorry. Puddingville. There. Isn't that much better? I think so. It's like, do you want to keep your one connection to the civilized world where we have food and fish? Or don't you? If you want to, you might want to re consider renaming your city to whatever I want, because, you know, it's not gonna end well. Okay, new buttway. We have this many. Fire Sanning Hall to nowhere. So basically nobody in the history of ever wants to go to Puddingville. I can't really blame them, I gotta say. Like, I mean, why would you want to go to Puddingville? Um... Yeah, I still have way too many people going to Sanning Hall out to Old Town Hall. Just really annoying. Like, extremely annoying. Nobody from here is going to Old Town Hall. Oh, wait, they are. Um, okay, who stops here? How many? I have four buses running this route. Oh, one's a mail truck. And one's a food truck, so I only have two buses. Can I make... What do you mean you're lost? What do you mean you're lost? Were my instructions not clear to you? You get... You get this, and then you do this. Uh, for f you gotta do everything around here, don't you? Okay, so I'm gonna do new buttway boy. The the best boy, really. I mean when you get down to to brass tacks about it. Okay, so you go This is a problem with ships. Okay, so you go to this buoy, right? Yeah, you got it. And then that one, and then this one. That alright with you? God there. Gotta babysit these boats. It's just ridiculous. Are you happy now? Do you know where you're going? Yes. Do you no longer accept food? Is this the problem? No, you take food. I don't know what the problem is. Okay. Oh yeah, one other thing I did is I'm um, dropping off uh, building materials at Old Town Hall. So, yeah. Oh, they built a little park. Oh, that's so cute. 
New bot lane is really growing, isn't it? Oh my god, look at this thing. I like this. Like, if once this gets paved, this is going to look so much nicer. Because you won't have the grass. That makes no sense. wonder if there's a way I can, you know, make that different. Okay, so we were going to check if we had more better buses. So we have... What do we have? We have this guy. Go away. I don't want you. Foster Pioneer. That's this one. That's 24 passengers. This is 34. This is 52. This is 60. Oh, it's an articulated buzz. I like my bus as well articulated. I mean... Ever try and have a chat with a bus? And I just can't really form a coherent thought. It's really annoying. Okay, but this costs quite... Oh, it doesn't actually cost that much more on running costs. Okay. Fine. Let's just... Do that then. Oh, sh... I balls that up. I apologise. Okay. You just go... Go, go do a thing. We're going to replace you. Now, the nice thing in OpenTTD is if you replace a road vehicle or another vehicle and then instantly buy a new one, it takes over the old order, so replacing vehicles is much, much more um, a thing. Okay, we'll just go with you. Articulated bus. This is gonna look cool. I hope. I do always check to see if it actually did it right, because you never know. I'm mumbling. I'm sorry. Where are you? Oh, you're there. Oh, that's fine. A Foster Clydesdale. Arctic? Nah. Oh, it's not an arctic bus, it's an articulated bus. I knew that! Stop laughing! Who gave you permission to laugh? What do you think this is? Comedy. It's like a comedy. Look at that! Oh, that's good! Ro uh, for fuck's sake. Are you telling me you can't go in here? You can't go in here, can you? Why can't you go in here? This is... this always happens. I don't know why this is so buggy. Do I need some different... Do I need this? Is this what you want? No, apparently it is not. What if I remove you? Then does it work? No. I don't understand. I really need to figure out why it keeps doing that, because it's really highly annoying. Tramway? Do you want to tramway? You're definitely not trams, though. Like, why do you have an invalid station? You don't. Like, here. It's just normal. Just stop being such a whiny... Something, something. I don't... I just... I... Uh... Okay, I guess these are bugged. I, I don't know what else to say. I'll try and fix it, and then I'll end the episode when I'm back, I suppose. I'll be right back. Okay. 
so I couldn't make it work. I think I have some kind of bug version or mod conflict or something. It's really annoying. Um, but yeah, so I built these double decker buses which do not really seem to be turning a profit. Although, I think that's just that one bus. I think this one already turned a profit. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. How many people from Puddingville? 18 people from Puddingville. My god. So yeah, uh, that I I can figure it. I even made like a, a tram tramway like here and I got it to, to go through there and actually stop at the station but it still didn't recognize it as a station it could go into so even though those articulated buses are really nice to look at um yeah bugged so can't use them anyway this has been train of thought thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time don't forget to leave vlog comments and um, suggestions and vote on what subscriber special you want me to do okay bye bye to do this intro? Can't remember.